This big piece here is Crazy Horse Craft, and they give us a lot of foldable type wallets here. So let's get into it. Open this here. Mm, let's see how easy this is. There we go. And we'll notice that we've got some snaps pointing out here as well as some other pieces. Let's see what we got. Open this up. Oh, and there we go. This is the wallet. And as you can tell, it comes unfolded. Well, let's see what we can do to get it folded. Okay, this goes here. You can see the crazy horse craft stamp right there. This comes up over and under. And let's see, this needs to be a little tight. This folds over and snaps here. Even that out a little bit here. Okay, and we turn it over. This folds and snaps right here. There we go. That is the wallet. Let's take a look at it really quick in its folded state. Some different holes going on here that uh, will give us a purpose as we get along into it. So let's do that. This is the classic brown color. If we take a look at the features, we see nothing here on the front. We go to the back and we immediately see a card slot right here. If we unsnap this, we have uh, one external card slot. This is a capacity of one to three cards. Is now that we have it open, we can see right here, right here in the back is where we have uh, a capacity for cards and cash that can go right in here. And cash folded just once, which is quite nice. And then if we snap this and come into this snap side, we have yet another internal pocket. And this one is for cards primarily. Cash you could put in here as well if you fold it uh, in thirds or fourths, but cards primarily go into here. And of course, uh, you've got this, this little pocket right here that goes down. You could put coins into here, but there's a little bit of interest that you need to be aware of here of what can happen if you go down the wrong slot. And that is a quick review of the features of the Crazy Horse Craft Minimalist Wallet. Now, origami wallets, like we see here, where they're folded, have been around for years. But Crazy Horse Crafts version and all of their products provide exactness and finesse that you generally don't see with others. Let's keep going. It measures 4.3 by 2.9 by 0.7. And it weighs 33 grams. So that's 1.2 ounces. Now you saw I got six cards, 12 slips of cash. I took out three there, so it's really nine because that is the taller euro and yen currencies. Minimalist card carry option, five, reasonable, I'd say is eight. The company can says it can hold up to 15 cards and some cash. I'm pretty sure that where I put the cash would have to be loaded up with a lot of cards to make that work. Now from a quality perspective, this is designed and made in Lithuania. It's a crazy horse style leather, but is a full grain veg tanned Italian leather. And like some of our re most recent wallets, it's from the full grain vegetable tan Tuscany Consortium. Great stuff. There's no sewing, just the snaps to hold the origami wallet together. It's priced for $41. Now from a usability perspective, this is a, there is a newer model out that replaced this one. And it took me a while to get to it, even though I bought this a long time ago. So in the meantime, a newer model has made it out and it incorporates a few more snaps here in the back to close things and make more accessible some of the contents and it accommodates coins much, much better. The one drawback is this top down slot right here. If you get into the back here uh, too far and uh, you can see where the cards through the quick access slot here rest. But if you put anything here, right back here in the back, let's say you put a coin back there by accident. Well, what's gonna happen here? It's gonna make its way out of the bottom right there. So if you're gonna use coins, you need to put it in the same slot here where you have these other cards, which is in between these two pieces of leather. If you put anything on this side, it will go all the way through and fall out. As you can see, it fits really nicely in the front or the rear pocket works best in both. There's really no concern there whatsoever. Now the weight and cut of the leather is really perfect to add structure without adding too much bulk. And I've seen pictures of how this wallet matures over time and how it adjusts to the person's carry preference and the patina that develops is really awesome. So now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of four, it's 
really well priced. Features of three, usability of three, and perception of four. That gives us a great score of 40 out of 50. We're getting more and more origami wallets. Look at a couple of these videos, and in the future, I think we'll have a top video around these kinds. We'll see you in the next review.